My name is Sydney, and I'm here to t today to talk about a foundational experiment regarding transformation. Transformation is defined in our textbook as the mechanism by which DNA found in the environment is taken up by a cell. Before it was known that DNA was the substance which caused transformation, there was speculation that the source could be protein, RNA, or DNA in origin. The experiment which addressed these concerns in lecture was the Avery, McLeod, and McCarthy's Transforming Principle experiment. It was previously believed before this experiment that proteins probably carried the genetic material in an organism. In the Avery, McLeod, and McCarthy experiment, they elaborated, elaborated on a previous experiment by a scientist named Griffith, which established the protein genetic material assumption. In the transformation principle experiment, there is a virulent and a non-virulent form of streptococcus. The virulent strain of streptococcus was grown and were killed and then subjected to three different treatments. One treatment removed all the protein present with protease, one re that removed all the RNA present with RNAs, and another which removed the DNA present with DNAs. These substances after these treatments were inoculated into a colony of the non-virulent um, form of streptococcus, which is called R. streptococcus. After some time, it was observed that only the DNAs treated bacteria were transformed into the virulent streptococcus. It was then soundly concluded that the chemical substance which transformed genes in the cell, specifically in bacteria, was DNA. There are other experiments which added to the repertoire of knowledge on this topic, but the conclusion and implications of the Avery, McLeod, and McCarthy transforming principle experiment led to the understanding we have today of how transformation operates.